How y'all doing? All right. Ed, what's been your impression of, of Dave Canales in this, this new offensive system? He's been great. Uh, very energetic. He knows his stuff. Um, he's been around that organization um, in Seattle. He came for, for 13 years, so he's seen a lot of people come and go. So his offense is a combination of everything he learned um, all those 13 years, and he shared it with us, and it's been tremendous. You talk about just transitioning from, from wide receiver to the assistant coach in there to running your own room now. I mean, I don't think it's a big transition for me for a guy that played the position in his NFL for seven years. Um, doing the same thing you did as a player, studying film, relaying messages as a backup to the starter. So you were similar to being a player coach, but now you just have a little more experience, more time with the younger guys, and you're just sharing the knowledge and the game that you've learned over those years being that guy. And then obviously your extension of Dave and all the things we're learning um, to make sure the guys get in and grasp it the right way. You're kind of an extension. You're kind of between the new and the old here, obviously. How have you seen the quarterbacks pick things up as you're picking things up as well? Right? I mean, they're doing a great job for the simple fact that this is new for Baker. Um, this is similar for John. Um, this is new for Kyle. But at the same time, it's, it's all you know at this time of year, you know, just putting it in. You know, you're not putting in anything that you did the year before. And so once you get a base like that, and you can start over. I mean, you can you can teach anybody. Mostly the concepts and things are the same. Might be something different, but you're just learning a new language. So if you can forget to, um, you know, some of the stuff you learned, you know, to say things differently, how it's said now, that's it. That's all you're doing. You're just learning a new language. So, you know, when you take notes, hey, it used to be called this, it's called this, and then just train your brain to call it what it's called now. What have you seen from Baker since he's been here? Uh, nothing but good and positive things. Um, he's a people person. Um, he, he has a present. He has an aura about himself. You can see why the guy was taken number one overall and won a lot of football games. And it's just been great. He's meshed great with the guys. Us as coaches, it's been fun. And um, he has a great personality. And I think that's what you want in the guy. Can you talk about the competition itself, you know, like structurally, how you think you'll do this? And, and one guy has a whole lot of experience. He's been through a whole lot of things. Right. The other guy's thrown four passes more than me. Right. In the NFL. I mean, I know he's been here two years, so right. he's home, but it's, he, he hasn't played in this system, so it's kind of like he's starting over, too. I think the structure would be uh, similar to whatever whatever Dave wants to do and how he structure it. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure the guys that get even reps, and then you just go by, you know, seeing what you do every day. You know, you're charting the completions, you're charting the incompletions, you're charting the mental errors, you know, guys who are performing, doing things like that. But competition makes everybody great. You know, because that won't be the only group competing. Every group will be competing, and it's new for everybody. So, I mean, that right there in itself makes the team better. This weekend, the main camp is probably a unique challenge for you of all the positions because the only guys you'll have will be tryout guys, mm -hmm. um, potentially three. Just want to see what that's like and how how hard it is to to get people out there and be able to evaluate them in such a short amount. I mean, I don't, I don't think it would be challenging in that aspect because I was one of those guys that played and was a, was a tryout guy. But you just you just seeing what guys know. I mean, you don't put too much in and try to trick the guys. You give them an opportunity and a chance because obviously their ability got them to this level, got them this tryout. So you want to see what their ability can do. So you give them enough, you know, so their head space is not clouded and they can go out there and perform and show you what they can do. You played for a lot of organizations. You, you collected a lot of information. Right. How has each of those experiences sort of shaped you? What, what, have, you, what have you gleaned from that? Because this is a unique experience, what you're going through. No doubt. Uh, just like learning this offense, I had to learn how to learn many of offenses, uh, seven of them to be exact. And a lot of it, it comes together. Um, a lot of it coincides with each other. And this is similar to the West Coast system that I ran my first year in the league. You know? The routes are named the same. The footwork is the same. It's just how people coach it, and their terminology is different. But I think just taking pieces and bits of pieces of everything that I've um, went through over the years, it just kind of come full circle, you know, especially when you're talking about offenses and going over certain things. It's, it's easy in that aspect for me. A big part of being a backup quarterback is helping the starter, and you were primarily a backup in the league. How did that kind of, I guess, develop your teaching skills? If it did, you know, to where you, you can – successfully transition to being a coach? Because you learn how people learn. You know, I'm, I'm in the room with Sam Bradford my rookie year, and 
you know, and you in the room with that guy, and you say, hey, man, we watch film together. And when you watching film with him, you, you seeing how he learned. And then he going on the field, and I ask, hey, man, what, what can I do to help you? You know, hey, so watch this for me. You know, give me this cold word. This cold word means that this helps me out. This to get me back focused. And sometimes, you know, when you have that relationship and you're the backup quarterback, you can feed off, you know, the guy that you're in a room with all the time and you're talking to all the time. You spend most of your time with, and it helps you out. So just being that, and then some of the coaches actually saying, hey, you want to coach one day? They've been actually trying to ingrain that in me for years. I said no, but I wind up being a coach anyway. <laughs> seen him over the past couple of seasons in practice where has Kyle developed or improved I just you just see a guy now that has an opportunity. I mean, you know, before where you had to kind of be a fly on the wall with the goat in the room, with Brady in the room, and you're just trying to feel your way out your first two years in the league. But he obviously know how to be a pro. He saw it done in front of him for two years, so you can't take that away from him. But just to be excited for him to get an opportunity to show what he can do. You know, obviously he was taken in the second round because of his ability and the things that he's done well in college, and it'll help him out. You know, just sitting back watching, but now he just to get to go out there and do. So you're excited to see what he can do. And, I mean, just with anybody, you're going to watch all the little things, the footworks, the command of the huddle and things like that, stuff he hasn't done on a regular basis. But, I mean, we're in May right now, so, you know, that's what this part of the year is for. So I'm excited for him. You were part of the old regime, and now you're part of this new one. Just what changes have you kind of seen, even from an energy standpoint in the building? Does it feel different to you? Yes, because it's something new. Everybody wants to learn something new. Um, the difference is just just the total difference in offensive philosophy because Dave's bringing his from Seattle, and obviously Byron was um, what with BA all those years, and and that's the only difference. You know, some you have some guys here the same, some guys not, but you just want to learn how these guys do it, and I just want to make sure I'm speaking the same language that they're speaking. So when we relaying it to the guys, we all speak in one language, so it's exciting from that standpoint. Oh, you, print. you prefer Thad over Thaddeus? Yes, I prefer Thad. Every time somebody said Thaddeus, I was in trouble <laughs> <laughs> when I was little. So, <laughs> so for sure. <laughs> Through all your experiences and all the coaches you worked with, who would you take the most from? I wouldn't say not one specific coach I took the most from. I would say I took bits and pieces from everybody. Um, you know, because anything that resonated with me and someone said it, I, I added that to my bag. So I would say I'd be a combination of everybody that actually has um, affected my life or had their hand in my development and things like that going forward as a player. And it helped, it's helping me out today to be a coach because everybody had a different philosophy, a different way of doing things, and you like certain things that certain people did. So I just try to add that to my bag. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it.